Hey guys, it's Matt from Tech One. One thing we run into occasionally on Sakura tissue processors is that the lid seal has come out. They don't go bad very often, but they do get stuck to paraffin around the rim and they'll get pulled out. So I'm going to show you the proper way, or maybe not the proper way, but at least the way I install them. Stick around. The IP lid seals have a wide side and a narrow side. Here I've cut a section out of one of the lid seals to show you what the wide side and the narrow side look like. It's also a way of showing you how much time and money I'm willing to waste on these silly little videos. Anyway, what tends to happen is if this thing falls out or gets pulled out for any reason, people will try and insert the narrow side into the groove just because it fits so easily. The problem is there's nothing really holding it in. And the funny thing is Sometimes it'll actually work, but it's not correct and it won't work forever because it just pulls out so easily that it just won't stay in there. These lid seals also have a small orientation mark. This is only true for newer lid seals. The older ones don't have it. So if you see it, don't panic. It's not a cut in the seal. And if you don't see it, don't panic. It probably just means you have an older lid seal. So what does that mean for us? That means the wide side actually goes into the groove and the orientation mark goes towards the bottom. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is twist this in a little bit, and you're gonna to wanna to have this in the center. If it's not exactly in the center, it's nothing to freak out about. It just should be towards the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to work this in, and it will take a little bit of force. Gonna work this in until it looks like, starts to look like that, all right? And you can actually, within the, within the groove, you can move it back and forth a little bit and that'll come in handy a little bit later. So now that we got the bottom in, we can actually go, come up here to the top and do the same thing, twisting it down like that and pushing it in a little bit. And then you can do one side, same thing, twisting it in and pushing it And you can do the other side. Now the trick is, you're just going to want to gradually work it in all the way around. I've switched angles here to give you a different perspective on how the gasket fits into the groove. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the gasket and twist it so that one side or the other, and it doesn't matter which, but in this case I'm doing the lower side, fits into the groove, put it into the groove, and then push the upper side in after it. And you keep walking it around like that, and eventually you will get the gasket in all the way. Now if you'll notice, the orientation mark, I hope you can see it, is not exactly in the center. It's not that big of a deal. It's nothing to freak out about. You'll also notice that I didn't do this quite right. It's a little bit goofy there, but that's not a big deal because you can just work it in. There you have it. A couple of other things come to mind when it comes to these lid seals. Number one is to keep this surface free of wax and debris. Although it takes a lot of uh, force to pull this out, if you've got a lot of wax around here, um, it can stick to this uh, O-ring and pull it right out. Um, and then you're just left stuffing it back in, which is not that big of a deal, but just be, be careful about Also that. avoid using a putty knife or a scraper around the O-ring. Um, they're made of a very high quality rubber, but it's real easy to cut them, particularly with a metal uh, scraper. So just be careful of that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can give me a call anytime, whether you're a Tech One customer or not. I know a lot about uh, this equipment, and I can certainly help you over the phone. Thanks. For all of you Vincent Price fans, here's a 3D shot. Woo!